Congratulations! If you're watching this video, you probably have gone through the Using Moodle for Students basic orientation. You've gone through how to log in, how to get started, how to click links. You've learned about blocks and columns and sections within the course and how to minimize blocks like this and how to just show one section or another. So let's actually do that. We're using section links, how to jump to section 4, and then how to show only section 4. At the bottom in section 4 you'll see there's a note that says once you've mastered this material you may want to look at the advanced resources course here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and what we have here is essentially a collection of appendices. The first one is actually pretty important, editing your profile and there's a number of details in here about how to do that and we encourage you to go ahead and look at that and then how to have an evaluation of your actual online courses. You may not be enrolled in any at the moment, but if you are, it's worth exploring them and looking into what each course offers. There's some additional examples of resources and then some information about Moodle. We hope you've enjoyed this course. We hope it's beneficial to your learning environment and we encourage you to get involved with the distance learning educators at your school. Um, the, give them suggestions you have ask them questions about issues you may have with online courses or hybrid and move right along. My name is D. Ivan Briesen. I've enjoyed working with you and I hope it's been great for all of you. Thank you.